Today we'll be cracking the code and heading back in time to the days of Rome and Julius Caesar with a soap that will pay homage to a classic nostalgic scent of brute. Welcome to the Nomadic King channel. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today I'm joined with Yo King. We also have our lather specialist and brush expert cuddles on board. We're gonna be taking a look at a soap from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This is the D2. In these soap reviews, we do a few things. We do an up-close look at the label, product itself, dive in information, scent notes, lather the soap, and give our opinion at the end. So if you're ready, we're all ready. Grab your favorite shave bowl and let's enjoy the show. Taking an up-close look at this label, it's very manly and mysterious. And as we crack the top open, we are met with a very nice aroma and a soft, white, puffy, fluffy soap, as you can see right here. We also have the Star Jelly today, and it comes in an amber-brown bottle to keep out UV light. And the contents inside is a cloudy, clear serum. These also have a pump top for convenience, and we are going to be scooping out a little bit of this soap and getting it ready to bloom. Blooming your soap is really going to open it up and bring out a lot of the scents. Now we've got some warm water in here, and we're going to let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes. Now the top notes are going to be a lavender, an anise, lemon, basil, and bergamot. We've got some heart notes of the geranium, ylang ylang, and jasmine. Complemented by the base notes of sandalwood, vetiver, patchouli, oak moss, vanilla, and tonka bean. It's a really complex scent that adds a lot of character to a classic nostalgic scent. The soap base today is a CK1, which has natural ingredients made up from coca, cucumber, shea, olive, avocado, and a little bit of aqua. The aftershave for today is a star jelly. Ingredients will be on the left hand side. These do come mentholated or non. They have a lot of ingredients that help skin conditioning and moisturizing. Now, if you're a true fan of the Brute scent, you're definitely going to love this with any combo that you choose from the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Now that our soap is all bloomed up, I'm going to empty out the bloom water and I'm going to use that to help add a little bit of water as we mix up this lather. Now this vegan soap base is very thirsty and it does take quite a bit of water. As I start off here, I realize I'm a little bit dry and I need to add a little bit more to my brush. But once it kicks in and starts lathering up, it definitely foams up very well and has a very good consistency overall. Now I'm going to use my brush to pull out as much lather as I can. And then I grab the base of that brush and squeeze all the lather out to the very end, which creates a very nice, beautiful puff of creamy lather to use in today's shave. Just look at all those edges and ridges and the smell coming off this is just fantastic. Welcome back from the up close look at the label product itself. Now we have the E2, which is basically a homage to Brute. They did nail the Brute sense, but there's a little bit more complexity to the sense that Doug's using right here. Like you definitely get uh, the Brute scent, but there's something extra here. Like I said, it's airy, it's uplifting, it's clean. It's lingering. I don't know. This is a really fresh, good take on this scent. What are you What are you feeling from this right here? I definitely really like it because it's like a floral, floral scent, and for me, it's like smell sexy and fancy. Maybe fancy, sexy, luxury kind of scent on a man. Yeah, you do get some of that like pollen pollen notes coming yeah, through there, right? But it's not like a cheap kind of pollen scent. It's like a little fall, fall and yeah. it, it just like uh, clean. It's almost spicy. It's like a spicy floral, spicy, clean spicy floral. I don't know. This is, uh, for being just a homage scent, this is definitely a, an original take on that, I feel like. Doug definitely does a good job on all these. Um, the soap is very like fluffy and airy looking. It's not like a female scent, even it's like fall. It's, you can smell it. It's not too, it's not feminine. Now, I did use this tonight and whew, this, uh, this star jelly yeah, felt amazing actually as an aftershave. One of the best experiences I've had with an aftershave so far. It just had a very cool, soothing feel to it. Felt like it was really nourishing my skin. This uh, soap right here, being the CK1, 
definitely surprised me. Um, it's the lower price point soap from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Shave Soap Line. But uh, man, it lathered up crazy. I think I could have used only like a small bit of what I actually did use. It had a really thick, puffy lather. It was almost foamy, almost foamy thick, like like a good cushion on the side of the face. And it too was fairly uh, soothing on the skin after I shaved it off, my skin felt good. And paired up with this, I mean, it, it was actually pretty good. So, what are you thinking? And telling people how good this is, because it's just cool, man. This thing smells sour. Yeah, it's got the menthol in there, which kind of definitely um, is a little bit stronger right here, which I thought was kind of cool, because the menthol with this scent, I feel like really just, really just kind of adds a little flair to it when you uh, throw that with the aftershave, just pulled all the cool air to my face. What is the crispy. Of it? E2 Brute is uh, like the Caesar's last words. E2 Brute is you're doing the E2 Brute, you know, in homage to Brute, which has nothing to do with uh, Julius Caesar, but it was just a cool way to use, you know, I don't know, to tie the two together. It, it's clever. It's actually really clever, mm. I think. I like the design. It's really represent the uh, sense of it. It's just kind of really many design. You know, I got this just because it was a homage to Brood and I thought it was kind of cool and I was going to do a review on it. But this one is actually one of the scents that um, kind of wowed me, actually. I kind of enjoyed this yeah, one. Yeah, one like of our favorite. Yeah, I like, actually really liked having it. Like I said, it didn't, it didn't remind me so much of Brood that it just felt cheap and... Um, overproduced because my memories of brew was just kind of just a really cheap very alcohol driven uh, like scent and it was all right this grabs that and just like really completes completes the scent it, it's it's a good one it's a good take so if you uh, get the option of hitting this when it is in the uh, seasonal release time which i think you can still get it now and i don't know when they you know take it off the shelf and re-release it but if you get the chance, go ahead and get some E2. It's definitely uh, definitely on my list of uh, shave soaps that I really enjoy. No words for you. I mean, you didn't really use it or nothing, but you know, how'd you, how'd you overall, how'd you enjoy it on my skin when you smelt it on me? I like it, make you feel, uh, make you feel like clean in front of me. Even maybe if you're not that clean. Just to smell it. Um, Doesn't it hide your dirtiness? But you know, this is like the also like the sense, like you go to like a luxury five star hotel, you can it just related to that kind of scent that you realize. Yeah. Like an upscale. Like a really high class, but you can smell mm -hmm. that kind of thing. All right. Well, five star hotel rating right here. You heard it first. If you guys like this video, you like, you share, you subscribe, you already know how YouTube works. We'll all see you in the next video. Peace.